Yes. How do you like that? We are not wearing it today because it's painting. Yeah. It's fresh back from the dry cleaners. Yes. Thank you, Peerless. Peerless. Might be a sponsor. Sponsor of the week. You are right. clothes, sharp, and crisp. Starched. So what are we here for today? This is a project highlight uh, video. So uh, a while back, we won't say how long. Sorry, Dina. Lancaster. Things get busy Apple. around here. But we were asked to build uh, some different clothing storage options for the uh, closet. The clo coat closet, yeah. yeah, that the high school offers uh, for students and uh, to come down and uh, help modify or add to their wardrobe. So uh, we have behind us a series of racks. Uh, we were able to take a couple students in. Uh, Aaron Ross, Raxton Daniels, we're kind of taking the lead on this. Uh, Went in one day of measurements, and then we ordered up material, and uh, were able to put together uh, two racks, as well as the tall one in the back there, kind of up uh, by the letter A there. The, uh, like a changing area kind of, uh, so they have a closet, they don't feel like they just have to stand in there, they're gonna give them a little private area uh, to, to change in and try some different clothes on. So uh, we really appreciate when we get these uh, opportunities to, uh, do different projects and stuff that have actual purpose uh, behind this. A lot of our time is spent in a welding booth learning the fundamentals, which is fine, uh, but it's awesome when our students can apply the skills uh, to a real life. So over the last couple weeks, we've got these uh, put together, and so we wrapped up here before the end of the year. Uh, probably rely on our maintenance guys to kind of help us install them and uh, transport them across town for us. So yeah, it's nice to see a little full circle of uh, projects and stuff. Kind of like a purpose for them. Yeah, yep, they, they have something now that you're able to help out. So, yeah. you know, we, sometimes we get some trailer repairs and stuff, stuff you know, from the community, but it's, it's always cool to have something that has a little bit more meaning to it. So. And it goes right to the school. Yep. So the kids, yeah. other kids will be able to say, oh, hey, yep. this was done. So the closet, main idea is that some kids that might need some extra clothing um, is donated by the community, and the kids can kind of go shopping yeah. and get a chance to, hey, have a couple new shirts and some pants and it's a good good cause and uh, when Ms. Lancaster asked us so we didn't hesitate to say yeah we can do this it just takes a little time yep. obviously we gotta learn the, the tra you know learn the technique that yeah. this was all done with TIG welding yep and so that was you know that takes a little bit of time and practice and once the kids feel uh, strong enough in it then they can tackle that project so sometimes when you ask us to do a project and we say yes time just because we need to teach the kids. We get one hour bursts. I know we all we all as teachers struggle with timing the time management. Go so fast over here. Yep. Wackiness. Uh, so yeah. 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 We will get it done. You know, we do guarantee that. Yep. <laughs> one way or one way or the other. Yep. So. You know, we have to go to Am on Amazon and buy it. Yeah. Just that happens. happens. We won't say it happened, but there yeah. might have happened. Not on this though. It's yeah. all handmade here. Uh, some other projects going on. We have a uh, um, sheet metal rack. Yeah, we'll take some pictures. Rack. Yeah, we'll, we'll take we're some our own in-house in projects. Sometimes yeah. we gotta get creative here. Um, we had some material been laying around on the floor for a while, which is never good. It's always a trip hazard and stuff. So yeah. uh, we had a group in there afternoon. Uh, some boys there that uh, stepped out and they built a handful of different things. Maybe we'll showcase them in the next week or two. Absolutely, we've got three different projects that we built over the course of the year. So. Making a power hammer. Yep. it's in pieces right now. Yeah. We'll probably highlight that. Before the year ends, at least we'll have the frame and everything put up. It runs on air, so we'll have to do some pneumatics and some uh, yeah. run some airlines. But we'll definitely have the, the basic idea of it up. Uh, one of our senior students has really taken taken apart. You, you saw it when we were doing the torch cutting, and yeah. that was part of it. So we've got some cool projects going on along with the serps. Yep. More and than then, just signs. Too, yep. so feel free if you're watching this, you know, reach out to us. Kind of crunch for time, but we can always put you on the, the books, they say, for the next year. Mm -hmm. And uh, they even have, like, we got a, kind of a bigger summer project kind of going on from an outside community member. So, um, yeah, we, we take breaks, but we, uh, we never really stop. That's right. right. We just slow down from time. Long live the welder. Yep, long live the welder. All right. Well, hey, remember, if you like this video, press like. Hopefully you're a subscriber. If not... Subscribe. Please do. Rumor go. has it the audio might be getting better. Wow. That would game change. Game change the channel. What? 
Hey, once we get that we, taken care of. We listen. Yes. Our viewers, when they speak, we listen. Yes. We hear. Our audio can speak. Yes. We need to work on that. So we're trying Just to upgrade yeah, a little bit. We are slow. Oh, our shout out to a April Fitterling yeah. for maybe writing a check. Thank, thank you for that. Keep, keep doing that. Practice that motion. Stamp, stamp, yeah. stamp. For the welders. Ben Barkey had some input. And then Scott Green. Scott Green. give him a shout out. Professionals. Yes. We are going to be professionals. You're ready. Hang on. That's right. It's going to get wacky. Her. <laughs> wacky. Her. Like always. Stay wet.